Hi, my name is Helena Sheehan and I am vodcasting for Biolog.ie and I am going to do a vodcast now on the cell cycle. So the cell cycle describes the stages in a cell's life cycle. Cells don't last forever. They are constantly dying and be rejuvenated. They are able to reproduce themselves. And a cell can divide. Let's first look though at the cell's life cycle. So there are two main stages to the life cycle. I'm going to draw a little diagram here. And the first stage in the cell's life cycle is called interphase. The second main stage is cell division. So during interphase, first of all, what is the cell doing? Well, as you can see there, interphase is the main portion of the cell's life cycle. And therefore, during interphase, the cell is going about its normal everyday activities. We'll have a look at what they are exactly in a minute. Once the cell is ready to divide, so towards the end of interphase, the cell prepares to divide and then it carries out cell division. There are two types of cell division and I'm going to jot them in here. We have mitosis and meiosis. And mitosis has four phases within it. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And you need to know exactly what happens during those four stages of mitosis, but I'm not going to deal with them now. So interphase is the main stage of the cell's life cycle, and then the cell divides. Let's have a look at exactly what the cell is doing during interphase. So interphase. Well, when we ask what a cell is doing during interphase, we must ask, what does a cell do? What does a cell do all of every day? What are its functions? And if you watch the vodcast on cell structure from biolog.ie, you will see there in that vodcast the components of the cell, the cell organelles, and what they do. So, for example, a cell carries out respiration using the mitochondrion. Plant cells carry out photosynthesis. At their chloroplasts. And also, cells make proteins, so protein synthesis. And synthesis is making or to make. Protein synthesis is the making of proteins. So there are a few things that a cell does. And during interphase, this is what a cell is doing. At the end of interphase, the cell then prepares to divide. So we'll say towards the end of interphase now. The cell prepares to divide. Now what must a cell do in order to prepare to divide? Well first of all it needs to replicate its DNA or replicate its chromosomes. So DNA replication. The cell enlarges and it makes new organelles. And remember that organelles are the components of the cell, the mitochondrion, the ribosome, the chloroplast, etc. They are the organelles. So towards the end of interphase, the cell prepares to divide. It replicates its DNA and hence its chromosomes. And what are chromosomes? Chromosomes are composed of DNA and protein. So chromosomes hold the genetic information, the DNA, and then the protein is wrapped around the DNA and it holds the DNA together in the structure called the chromosome. Let's have a look at a human cell. Now there are different numbers of chromosomes 
in a cell, depending on which organism it is coming from. But if we have a look at a human cell, there are 46 chromosomes in a human cell. 2n equals 46. 2n means the diploid number. That's the full set of chromosomes. There are 46 chromosomes. Now, if a cell wants to divide, if it wants to make copies of itself, let's just say the cell wants to make two copies of itself. And it wants to make two genetically identical copies of itself. That means it doesn't want to lose any of its chromosomes in the process. It wants to end up with 46 chromosomes in each cell. Now this means that 46 chromosomes there have appeared from somewhere. And at the end of interphase, so if we just put in a little bit here, 92 chromosomes. So this is at the end of interphase. When the cell is preparing to divide, it replicates its DNA and hence its chromosomes so that there are enough for the two new cells. So if we go back here to the cell cycle. During interphase, the cell is going about its everyday activities. For example, respiration, protein synthesis. So we'll call these the cell's everyday activities. And at the end of interphase, it prepares to divide. Um, there's an exam question, there's an interesting question, which some of you I know find difficult. And the question is, I'm just going to mention it here. Name two processes involving DNA. So involving DNA, which occur during interphase of the cell cycle. Well, we know that at the end of interphase, the cell prepares to divide. And in order to prepare to divide, it needs a double copy of its chromosomes. So therefore, it replicates its DNA. So one of the processes involving DNA is DNA replication. Of course, in order to answer this question, you need to know what interphases and you need to know what's happening during interphase. So DNA replication, which occurs at the end of interphase, is number one. And number two is transcription. Because during its everyday activities, the cell is making protein. And DNA needs to be copied to RNA, to messenger RNA, in order for the process of protein synthesis to occur. Now that's a whole other section, protein synthesis. But the answer there, transcription, converting DNA to messenger RNA, is another process that occurs during interphase of the cell cycle. And that's it. That's the cell cycle, in a nutshell. Interphase and cell division. The next podcast I'm going to do is going to outline a little bit of mitosis and meiosis.